How long have I been farming? I've been farming for um, 46 years. So I left school at 15 and been sort of doing this and other little jobs in between, but uh, dairy farming pretty much all that time. One of the main drivers was uh, labour. The manual labour side in what, the way we were doing it was quite intense. Uh, the calves adapted extremely well, a lot better than we probably anticipated. Four days we're running at the moment and setting them up on the calf feeder, so getting through colostrum protocols and then onto the feeder and within a day they've got it. Uh, probably the biggest changes in animal health we've noticed is they're eating hay and grain a lot earlier in life, chewing their cud a lot earlier in life and they seem to be growing a lot better, a lot more content and uh, are very happy. At uh, the moment we're currently feeding upwards of 80 calves with the feeder. I think we just cracked 80 last week. So uh, that, the system is handling extremely well. We started out building the shed to go to robotics one day. So we've had a plan in mind for well over 10 years to go to robotics. We're up to uh, earthworks at the moment. Sheds have been purchased. Start building sheds in the next month or so and progress from there. We expect to see an increase in milk production. Also, hopefully a more relaxed work atmosphere with employees and ourselves as farm managers. Be able to do a lot more with the cows, I believe, and be able to utilise phone and be able to do it remotely. Um, be able to keep up with cows that way. Our family time is very important. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get a lot more in with robots and uh, yeah, spend a bit more time as the kids grow up. Next generation means to me probably the next, the next generation taking over the farm. So I'm a fifth generation in this district and yeah, love it to go on to a sixth generation. The next dairy farmer, well, I think we've got a long way to go. <laughs> Uh, Willow's only three and a half, and the twins are four months old. So we'll just have to see whether they progress to enjoy working with the cows and the calves, see what happens in the future. It would be great to have you back to see the progress that has been made, um, what we've learnt about the robots, how the cows have transitioned into the robots, and to see whether our expectations meet with what is actually happening.